Nothing is off limits when it comes to NASA getting the most out of all of its resources. In fact, even a bit of perspiration is turned into inspiration by some of NASA's best and brightest. NASA's version of sweat equity is next on Real World. Life on the International Space Station is a bit of a miracle. In the upper atmosphere, where the shuttle orbits, many of the elements needed for human survival don't exist. So NASA has come up with some very creative ways to ensure not only survival, but comfort as well. And they do it with something called Environmental Control and Life Support Systems, or ECLIS. Basically, ECLIS encompass any system that will help you live comfortably without thinking. Monsi Roman is the project manager for Exploration Life Support. Basically, clean air, clean water, temperatures, humidities that are comfortable, anything that will allow you to survive in an area and work comfortably. ECLIS takes care of the air, removing CO2 and other chemicals that are harmful to astronauts. It also provides oxygen. ECLIS also regulates humidity. Humidity is moisture in the atmosphere. We calculate relative humidity to get a sense of how much moisture is in the air. Relative humidity is a measure of the amount of water in the air compared with the amount of water the air can hold at the temperature it happens to be when you're measuring it. Relative humidity is expressed as a percentage and can be calculated by using this equation. Relative humidity equals actual vapor density divided by saturated vapor density times 100. By keeping the humidity low on the space station, ECLIS provides a comfortable environment for astronauts, plus keeps things like bacteria or fungus from growing on the station in unwanted places. Now here's where it comes full circle. The moisture that is in the air is pulled out, landing on a cold piece of metal that causes it to condensate just like a dehumidifier would work in your house. The end result is water that is then treated and made ready to be reused, even as drinking water. In fact, ECLIS can recycle just about any water used on the space station and turn it into drinkable water. Since water makes up about 60% of each of us, this is a really important feature on the space station. Any wastewater, any water that comes out of humans or, or produced by humans doing Hygiene, like brushing their teeth, washing their hands, shower, water, all that. Monsi and her team developed ECLIS at Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama, in a space that was once supposed to be a module of the space station, but is now used for testing systems that are earmarked for ISS. When we're in testing, all the hatches are closed. We bring people in. We inject air that is very clean, extremely clean air, that is devoid of humidity, because we do not want humidity from the outside. What we want to do is collect the metabolic load, or the perspiration and the humidity. All that testing led to the system that does the same thing on the space station. And the latest addition to ECLIS on the space station, a new water processor, really ups the ante. We are really excited. That marks the first time ever, ever, that any nation has done water recycling, including urine, with the purpose of drinking. We have done something that has never been done before, which is taking all the wastewaters, all of them, clean them up and return it back to the crew. It greatly reduces the amount of water astronauts need to take from the Earth to the station. In fact, about 92% of the water that is put out by humans is recovered back into the system. It's an important component in increasing the crew size on the station from three to six. It all adds up to the most productive environment for the people who live and work on the International Space Station. All those things, that, that's exactly what ECLIS does. All those systems maintain the humans from having to worry about their surroundings. We take care of that. They take care of the work and, and, the, and the experiments and, and the other things. You can learn more about ECLIS, the International Space Station, and all of NASA at www.nasa.gov.